Oh, you took it that way? I see, I see. But no, that's not the right answer. Oh, I don't get it. What's this? Love is spat in public? What's this? Huh? Oh, it's so close. But still wrong. You need to use your imagination on that one. Huh? Oh, uh, don't glow. Can we just drop it? Uh... But, but... Boy. Hey, what's all the ruckus about? Your kids are being awful loud in front of this shop. That's bad for business. <laughs> this is our shop. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, yes, sorry. Huh? So spill it. What's got you two flying off the handle? It's this. A puzzle. A crossword puzzle? Really? Huh? Some picture you drew out of squares has you that worked up? What the hell? It's not a drawing. It's a crossword puzzle. Crosswords, okay. A crossword puzzle? Eh. Yes. It's a puzzle with square grids in which you write answers to clues. Each letter of the answer has to fit in a designated square to solve the clue. With this puzzle, once the grids are completely filled, several letters are taken from specific grids and used to form one word or phrase at the end. <laughs> uh, how about that? Uh, that's what's uh, hip and happening these days? Does sound kind of fun. <sighs> Usually they are, but the puzzle Koka made is too hard. I'm over it. Huh? Koka? Oh, oh well, that would be me. I'm Kosaka. Uh, this is my girlfriend, Shizuku. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> so you two make puzzles and get each other to solve them? You must really like these things. <sighs> uh, yes, that's true, but... Huh? <sighs> oh, blah, I'm over it. I don't want to work on this stupid puzzle anymore. I'm happy you made this for me, but can I give up? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> huh? Why? <laughs> because you just can't quit. I'll help guide you to the answers. We can solve it together. <sighs> oh, you're sucking all the fun right out of this by being so intense, Kofin. I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, you have to. Please? Oh, no! Oh no, I know what it is. I know what it is. Oh shit. He's trying to propose. This idiot is trying to propose. Oh no. And he needs her to solve it. Because once, <laughs> once she solves it, she'll see the message that's hidden within it. No. <laughs> but if she keeps going, if he keeps going with this, she's gonna wanna break up with him because he's so obsessed and stuff. Ah! <laughs> I said I don't want to anymore. Oh. Uh, sorry to intrude. Have fun solving puzzles and fighting about it or whatever. Just keep it down, will ya? Oh, yeah, yes, sorry. Excuse me, may I have your name? Huh? huh? I'm Majima. Majima-san, I have a huge favor to ask. May I have a moment? Yeah, Say what? Yep, he's gonna be like, bro, help me out here. <laughs> Whoa, so when you solve your puzzle, it becomes your proposal to- ah! <laughs> I knew it! It becomes your proposal to Shizuku-chan? Shizuku That's some real creative shit. Shh! Majima-san, keep your voice down. Uh. Oh, oops, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just trying to say, it's real clever, romantic too, I, I guess, you know. <laughs> oh, thank you. <sighs> but I didn't count on her being so stubborn that she can't solve a single clue. <sighs> Ouch. That's a tough one. <sighs> yes, that's where you come in. Majima-san, can you help Shizuku-chan solve the puzzle? Uh -huh. huh? Help her solve it? Why, why do I gotta do that? If I keep hounding her, she'll totally blow her lid and tear it up or something. Please, my whole future is riding on this. Can you help Shizuku-chan with the puzzle so she can get to my proposal? Yeah, sure, man. You're kind of hopeless, but whatever. All right, sure, I'll help you. <laughs> you will? Oh, you're my hero. Okay, let me get this straight. All I gotta do is help the girl solve the puzzle and you're golden, right? So just give me the answers Hi. and then I'll help her. Yes, if the puzzle questions are properly solved, my proposal will ultimately emerge. I need your help to make sure she gets it right. I get it. A proposal's a pretty big thing, ain't it? I'll pinch hit for you. Thank you. Let's move it inside. <laughs> yeah, you.
You could always just make a new, easier puzzle. <laughs> Gokun, you made this crossword puzzle way too hard. Can't we do something else? D don't be so quick to give up. When you solve the puzzle, I'll treat you to the best crab they've got. <laughs> I'd like that, actually, but there's no way I can solve this puzzle by myself. It'll be okay. Majima-san here is an expert. He can help you with it. Hey, I never said I was an expert. Uh, right, Majima-san? Huh. Ah, uh, like a wordsmith at a crossword forge. <laughs> oh, really? That would be so helpful. Koken's been obsessed with this crossword thing. It's so weird. Huh. Yeah, can't say I blame him. He's got his whole future riding on this. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah! Let's get this puzzle started. Let's solve one down. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what's one down? What's the clue? Let me see. One down, a dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes and often served with gravy is called blank potatoes. Blank is where the answer goes. So, mashed. Yeah. Now back it up. What the hell is gravy? <laughs> Majima! Where? What? What? <laughs> it's it's mashed, but what? Why? <laughs> yeah, Japanese man in the 80s, I guess. Yep. It, it's a Western sauce made from juices of cooking meat. You know, the brown sauce they often serve with steaks and meat when it's served Western style. <laughs> oh, that stuff. You really know your way around food, she's a good chat. So, yes, but a boiled and crushed potato dish that goes well with gravy? I can't picture it. From the number of squares, it looks like it's six letters. Yep, yep, it's mashed. Yeah. Okay, a dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes. Often served with gravy, it's called blank potatoes. The blank being six letters long, it's... Yeah, mashed. Yeah. Ain't it mashed? <laughs> oh, that sounds right. It's the creamy, mushy potatoes you get with steak. Majima-san, you're fabulous. <laughs> hey, yep, yep. Majima-san, you're on the ball. Yep, I guess that has to be the answer. The only place that serve mush potatoes are the ones that can't spell. Why didn't I know that? This is what you're hoping for? Yes, you're doing great. They're having a little telepathic conversation here. I think it's safe to fill in the squares then, she's a good chat. From, once, from square one down, mash. Hi. Okay, let's see. Mash. I wrote it down. Uh. All right, next clue. The next clue is, what is the most popular snack food served at movie theaters? Coconut even left a note saying we shared some at the last movie we saw. Popcorn. Is this supposed to be hard? <sighs> mm, I ain't been to a theater in ages, so I don't really know what's popular. Kind of a skimpy clue. No, it's not. It's easy. It's what? It's going to have seven letters. <laughs> I have to agree. But if you shared some of the... Some the last time you saw a flick. Do you remember what it was, Shizuku Chen? I do remember Koken buying some stuff at the counter, but what all was it? They asked him what size he wanted, and then. Oh? It comes in different sizes, huh? There are seven grids to be filled this time. Yeah, oh. Okay, a seven letter snack food is the most popular at movie theaters, and it comes in different sizes. Huh. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> Noodles. <Yeah. laughs> Ain't it popcorn? <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. It's popcorn. <laughs> hey, yep, yep, that's it. <laughs> Shizuku might not be very bright. That is a distinct possibility. This also might be one of those things where he's really into puzzles. So, so she's like, oh, I'm into puzzles too, you know? But she actually isn't. She's just doing it so that he, you know, gets to have his, his passion explored. Because people do that often, where they're like, Oh, you know, I'm not into this thing as much as you are, but I'll participate, you know. Yes, popcorn has really taken off in the movie theaters lately. Why didn't I remember that? Looks like we got it right. Yes, you're doing great. Please keep it up. She's a good chat. Let's fill in those squares. Popcorn. Hi. Okay, um, popcorn. <laughs> Watch, it's gonna be misspelled. Like his proposal. It's going to be like, will you bury me? Or something like that. <laughs> I wrote it down. Uh. 
All right, bring on the next clue. Next clue is a phone with a carrying strap can be taken anywhere is often called a blank phone. Hmm. Huh? I actually saw a phone like that not too long ago, but it's a long story. Mm. This looks like it's a word that's eight letters long. A phone that you can carry around, huh? Didn't I see that called a bag phone somewhere? But that's too short. Is it? I'm totally lost here. What? Shizuku! Bag? It, what? A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere is called a blank phone. So the eight letter word to fill in the blank is. Uh. I think it has to be backpack. Shoulder phone just doesn't sound right. Yeah. See ya. Ain't it backpack phone? Backpack phone, I see. It does sound very portable. That must be it. Uh, what? Oh no, that's not it. The backpacks have straps too, right, Majima-san? Huh? Yeah, two of them. And it's a perfect fit at eight letters long. I think we got this one in the bag. Yeah. Wait, but, oh no. Fill in those boxes, she's a good chan. B-A-C-K-P-A-C-K. Okay, um, backpack. Come on! No, that's wrong! Huh? Uh, it is? Huh? That's wrong! The clue said a uh, carrying strap, not two. Why would you carry a phone on your back? It's not an army field radio! Huh? Oh, uh, I guess not. Huh? Oh, so you're saying it's not backpack? <laughs> it's shoulder! You can wear those phones over your shoulder, so of course that's where the name comes from. Uh, that's not what they're called, though. They're not called shoulder phones. Huh? It's called the shoulder phone. So that means... Just write shoulder in the blank squares, okay? Hi. You're way too intense, Kokun, but fine. Yeah, this guy needs to chill out. Holy shit. You know what's the best thing about this? If he ends up, like, taking this too seriously, he might not even get to the point where there is a proposal, but if she finds out that it was going to be that, and he, like, tells her that's the reason why he was upset, she might be like, wait a minute, you got this, like, angry with me? Because I was potentially messing up your really weird proposal thing? Ugh, it could be really bad. Shoulder phone. Bag phone. Why two names? Well, the obvious answer is that he needs to have certain letters in the uh, specific spots. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done shoulder phone. I wrote it down. Good. On to the next one. Hajima-san, we're almost done. The next one's the last clue. <laughs> yeah? Then let's do this. Okay. I'll read the last clue. This term is used to categorize the faces of men. A man with a typically plain, with typically plain Japanese features is called a blank blank face. The opposite is called a sauce face. What? Who says this? What? Oh my gosh. <sighs> the hell is that? Teenager slang? Oh, now I'm screwed. <laughs> I think the two blanks are where the answer goes. It must be two words. There's room for eight letters in all. Also, crosswords almost never do two word answers. This is a bad crossword puzzle. Okay, so the opposite is sauce face. Must mean it's got something to do with a flavor or a condiment, right? Oh, that sounds very possible. If a sauce face describes a face that's rugged and foreign, then this would be softer. No, I don't think it's the opposite. Okay, a term used to describe the face of a plain Japanese guy has two words followed by face. The opposite is sauce face. So the two words are... What? What? What, what is this? What? How, how do you... Oh my god. Japanese wordplay moment? Oh, is this just something that doesn't translate? Is just, this just something that doesn't translate well? The thing that makes the most sense to me is miso soup face. That that feels like it makes the most sense. Let's do miso soup. Yeah. Maybe it's miso soup face. 
Oh, good call. Miso soup is pretty thin and plain. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> he got it wrong again. <laughs> yes. I kind of like seeing him flip out more, though. I prefer white miso, Majima-san. What kind of miso do you like? Uh. I'm a red miso man. It goes great with cucumbers. Anyway, miso soup's two words, and it's eight letters in all. This one's a grand slam. Yeah. Wait, but... She's a good chat. Gotta write that down. Gotta write that down. Miso soup, okay? Hey. Yep. Um, miso soup. Oh. No, that's wrong! Oh. It is? I know it's salt-free now. That's the one it has to be, yeah. Huh? How could it be miso soup? Sauce is a flavoring, and miso soup is a proper dish. They're not even the same ballpark. Oh. Hey, slow your roll. I thought it was a pretty good guess. Uh-oh. So the answer isn't... Miso soup? It's soy sauce. The opposite of a sauce face is a soy sauce face. Wait. Wait, it is soy sauce? That's not the opposite of sauce. Ah! Let tear my hair out. This is so stupid. Kosaku. You need to go back to puzzle school. I thought every girl would know that. Uh, sorry. Bro, maybe you've been her forever guy for all this time so much that she's not caught up to date with all the dating slang lingo, you asshole. C making this convoluted, stupid puzzle when you could have just put like one or two layers of indirection on your proposal and then just did it. Ah! Write it down. Soy sauce is the answer. Hi. Fine. Soy sauce face. Soy sauce face and sauce face, huh? Kids these days. I wrote it down. She looks so defeated. She's just like, can I go now? Like, this is really dumb. Uh, let's see. That's it for the clues? <laughs> yes. Yay. It's all done. <laughs> but wait, wait. It's not finished yet. There's one last thing to do. Do you see the circles on the puzzle? You gotta use the circled letters to form a word. Uh. Oh, right. Let's see. It says, let's blank. I guess the blank is the word you get from the letters circled in the puzzle. So it's five letters. From mashed, I get the letters M and A. From popcorn, I get the letter R. From shoulder, I get another R. And from soy sauce, the letter Y. Okay, now just write those letters in the blanks and read the whole thing out loud. Let's marry? Kokun, what is this? That's how I feel about you. I I've been wanting to say those words for a long time now, but I could never work up the courage. I thought maybe putting them in a crossword puzzle would help me, and that's why I was so adamant about you solving this one, but I made it too hard. Sorry. Kokun. So, uh, um, what do you, what you read there is how I feel about you, Shizuku-chan. Do you, do you have an answer? Not until you say it. Hmm? Huh? Kokun, I want you to look me in the eyes and ask it. Sorry. Shizuku-chan, will you marry me? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. I feel kind of bad for, like, doubting this guy, but she did really love him, so, okay. <laughs> really? You will? Sweet! Yes! Huh? How hard was that? I wish you would have just said it instead of putting me through this, you idiot. Baga. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd we'll have so much trouble solving it. Did it on purpose, you know. I want you to say it. <gasps> oh, shit! Wait, she's big brained? Oh shit! She solved it a long time ago? And and she's like, nah, I don't want to do it this way. I want you to say it. Holy galaxy brain! Yeah, she solved it in her head. I mean, this puzzle is easy. And obviously this guy is probably relatively smart and he wanted to make the puzzle easy enough that she wouldn't have issue with it. 
And thus, he got upset, thinking, oh, wait, why is this so hard for her? But no, Shizuku knew it all. She didn't need to do anything. She figured it out. But, yeah. Hmm? Wait, what? Forget it. Congrats, Kozaku and Shizuku. <laughs> and he, he he's clueless. He's like, wait, what? All right, now hold hands, you old dorks. Majima san, I can't possibly thank you enough, but please take this. Got five tourmalines. What are the tourmalines? <laughs> gem? Okay. Majima san, you sure know your way around crossword puzzles. You breeze right through it. You're really new at these? <laughs> yeah, yep, first time. It was pretty fun, though. You gotta put together another one of these for me sometime. Yeah. Oh, I don't think there'll be another one. My crossword puzzle making days are over. Now on, if I need to convey my feelings, I'll say it in my own words. Kokun. <laughs> hey, you're sappier than a tree, Kokun. But good for you. We'll be going now. Thank you, Majima-san. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. We're going to be happy together. Aw. Uh. Hey, if, uh, if she's good, if you ever need work, I have this cabaret club, and, uh, I think you would do wonderfully there. God damn it. Struck out again. I bet those two would have ended up together no matter what I did. But he's right. If you want to say something, you gotta say it in your own. You gotta say it in your own words. Your own words are what gets you through life's toughest spots, even when you gotta cross words. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> High five, brain. <laughs> you fucking dork! <laughs> oh, come at me, bitch. You're broke. Oh my. Hi, buddy. I'm flat broke again. I want to go to a cabaret, though. So give me some money so I can go there again. <sighs> Bro, just come to mine. Just come to mine. I wish you'd earn your money like the rest of us. Then I'd welcome you to my cabaret. Got some real nice girls there. Huh? Huh? Your cabaret? Anyway, why bother earning money when I can just take yours? Come on, hand it over. Money. it. <laughs> Ha! He missed! <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Boom! another round of training in. Uh, hmm? Yuki-chan. Uh, oh, she's distracted or something. Oh, hi, hi. oh Yuki-chan. Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. 
Naya. What's the matter? It was zoning out. I'm sorry. I'm meeting someone after work, and it's all I can think about right now. Oh, she's got a date! <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Our little Yuki-chan's all grown up. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's that supposed to mean, Majima-san? Don't be creepy. Mata <laughs> creepy? Come on, I was just... Ah, uh, never mind. Zuzu. Well then, let's keep this session short, eh? I'd hate to interrupt your busy schedule. Hi. Uh, thank you. That's very helpful. Let's start the lesson. Right. Oh. Zuzu. Looks so different now! It's been a while since that first time I came in here and met you, eh, Yuki-chan? そう言われればそうですね。Majima-san you've come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this place has changed, but I think you've changed even more, Yuki-chan. <laughs> Oh? Really? Huh. Yeah. You've come a long way. You were pretty bad in the beginning. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Majima, don't do this. Like, don't do me like this. <laughs> okay, okay. I keep thinking about her appointment later on. I bet it's her boyfriend. I wonder what kind of guy he is. If he's a shithead, he's really gonna get it from me. What did you what should I tell her? Why the hell would I say break up with him? No! Oh. <sighs> Yuki Chan, just remember, if you ever need anything, you can count on me. I'll be there for you. Eh? Huh? Oh, hi. Oh. Thank you. That's right. You know what, Yuki Chan? You've made so much progress, I think this can be our final chat. そうですか。マジマさんとこうやって Eh? Uh, yes, so no. Uh. Oh, what, what? Oh, come on, I'm on pins and needles here. Yes, uh. Oh, no! Oh, no, we have to guess? Oh, no! Oh, shit! Hmm, what does Yuki Chen think of me? Hmm. No! Oh, no! Ah! God damn it! No! Cause you want to say B, right? Cause it's like, ah, that's the that's the that's the basic simple one, right? But you know there's the possibility that the best answer is actually Y. Cause it's funny as fuck, you know? And you're gonna be like, ah, I'm a sketchy one-eyed bastard, you know? And she's gonna be like, ha, yes, yes, you are, yes, you are. By the love of your life, no, that's that that's a bit forward. That no. No, but she said, no, but she said it would be embarrassing. I, I, I have to be safe. I have to press B. I have to go B. Obviously, I'm a great boss. One you can look up to. Nice, nice. Does me good to hear from you. <laughs> that wasn't it? That wasn't it? No! No way! Was it love of my life? Shit! No, no, no way! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Majima-san, is your lesson done already? Where'd Yuki-chan go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been done. As for Yuki-chan, I think she's going on a date with her boyfriend. Eh? Eh? B -b 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 boyfriend Yuki-chan? Boyfriend she has? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a 
That's what she said. Said something about him being a very important man in her life. Important man in Yuki Chan's life. Mm. Yeah. Majima Sama, don't you think there's something fishy about this? Huh? What you talking about, Yoda? Uh, after all, <laughs> talking about Yuki Chan, we are. Mm. Yuki Chan's a plain, flat chested wallflower. Never had a boyfriend in all the years she's been alive, she has. Mm. Barely chat with the customers until you arrived, she could not. Mm. You think it's really possible that she found herself a boyfriend so suddenly? Mm. Ugh. You know, you're right. It does smell a little fishy. Then again, what's that say about you, Yoda? <laughs> Why are you pulling plain, flat-chested wallflowers into the host hostess business? Uh, anyway, do you think Yuki-chan is being conned? Conned? What? Hey. Yes, you hear news about men taking advantage of lonely women and cleaning out their savings. Yuki-chan is naive enough to fall for it. I bet that's what's happening. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cringe. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I can see it. That girl's gullible enough to fall for a little sweet talk. You're making me concerned here. Alright, only one thing for it. We gotta go after her and find out for ourselves. We can still catch her. Hi! Yes, let's go! Yuki Chen's virtue is in peril. Mm. Not to mention her life savings. Yeah, I'll get an eyeball on this guy, and then I can decide if this boyfriend of hers is legit or not. Oh my god, oh my god. If this is the way things are going, I have to go back. No, it's a- ah! <sighs> Okay, okay, we'll, 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 we'll let it go, we'll let it go. This is fine, this is fine. This is fine, yeah, yeah. Well, Yuki Chan sure seems to be in a good mood. Uh, yeah, she does. Here's hoping her man does turn out to be just a regular old boyfriend. What is going on? What are you two doing? What are you two dumbasses doing? Hmm? Is someone there? Oh, crap! Get down! I'm hearing things. <sighs> Yuki Chan's more self aware than she looks. Indeed, that was a close one. Yuki Chan's been waiting a while now, though, huh? Yeah. Yes, it's already been 15 minutes. Odds of her being taken for a ride are increasing with every passing second, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Hmm? Someone's heading her way. Hey, Yuki, sorry I'm late. Oh. No, it's okay. I just got here myself, too. Oh, Yuki-chan, you've been waiting 15 minutes. What a sweetheart she is. But what's with this guy? Kind of rocking the cradle a bit, ain't he? Ha ha ha! Yeah, and I bet he looks younger than he actually is, too. I bet he's way older than Yuki-chan. And Yuki-chan was saying her ideal man would be a prince. This guy looks like the type who rides in on a white horse to you. Love is blind, Majima-san. Love is blind. Clouds your judgment, it does. Mm. The path of the dark side. <laughs> well, we should get going. They're on the, oh, they're on the move. Got a tail of you to chat. Hi. All right. God, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. It's been a while since we've been able to sit down for a quiet meal together. Oh, is this her father? Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, they seem pretty familiar with each other. Yes, very true. <laughs> but, uh, Majima-san, do you think we're crossing any ethical boundaries here? <laughs> and the waitress looking at them <laughs> with her judging face, just like... Hey, we just happened to enter the same restaurant as Yuki Chan and her mystery man. It's a free country. I guess that's one way to put it. 
caught me off guard when you came over the other night. You have to let me know before you just show up next time. Oh, sorry, Yuki. I was so excited to see you. I just couldn't help but come on over. Oh, you. Oh, my. I don't want to picture anyone I know in that situation. Least of all our Yuki-chan. Yeah, well, even worse when you figure this old geezer is laying his greasy mitts on our poor Yuki-chan. Yeah. Yeah, but if he's really her boyfriend, it isn't a problem, right? You should be happy for her in that case. You got a point. As long as he's treating her right, that'll be the best thing for her. Oh, yes, before I forget, here's this month's money. It is her dad! She's helping support him! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Oh, nice. Thank you, Yuki-chan. I love you. Did money just change hands? Or do I only have one good eye? Mm. It did, and you do. <laughs> Maybe he's sick, right? Maybe she's helping to cover the old guy's medical bills. Well, he is old. But he doesn't look unhealthy. <sighs> That's true. Uh, keep observing. Yeah. No, no, just because she handed over cash doesn't have to mean she's being conned. That's true. I have something important to tell you, Yuki-chan. I've met someone. I may even marry her. <laughs> yeah, it's dad. Oh, well, I don't know what to say. That's not something I expected you to drop on me out of the blue. Huh? <laughs> What's this all about? That guy just straight up told her he's got another woman on the side, right to her face. He must be using it as leverage to dump her. Mm. Mm. And he'll make her pay him more money to keep him around, I bet. I think I hit the nail on the head. <sighs> what the hell? Poor Yuki-chan. Keep observing. Don't step in. Yeah. Well, you got to remember, this is Yuki-chan. Could be a misunderstanding. Let's keep watching. Eh? Eh? Isn't it obvious she's being duped? You're giving Yuki-chan a little too much credit, Majima-san. <sighs> Well, I admit, that news caught me off guard. But I'm happy for you. If you're in love, who am I to say no? Oh, thank you, Yuki. What's wrong with you, Yuki-chan? How can you be so forgiven? That's why I came to Osaka. Honestly, I had to tell you. It was important enough to tell you in person. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit, Dad. Yeah, there it is. Yay! It's Dad! Oh, all her dads are here. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> They're like, oh, oh, dad. Oh, watch, they're going to make too much noise. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Mamajima-san and Yoda-san, what are you two doing here? Oh, um, yeah, about that. <laughs> Me, a con man, trying to dupe Yuki. <laughs> That's a classic. I don't find this amusing at all. I'm speechless. So, um, you're really Yuki-chan's dad, are you? Yes, yes. Guilty as charged. Seems Yuki-chan continues to be quite the handful. She hasn't changed a bit. All right, then what's up with the money? Why are you forking cash over to her dad? To your dad, Yuki-chan? <sighs> You saw that too? My dad loaned me money so I could move to Osaka and I'm paying him back a little every month. That's all. Then that talk about your dad finding another lady. <laughs> yes, I met a woman I hope to marry. My wife, Yuki's mother, passed away years ago. I never expected an autumn romance, but life is a strange thing sometimes. <sighs> so that's the whole story, eh? You being Yuki's dad was the furthest thing from my mind. <sighs> Terribly sorry we are for leaping to conclusions. We even went so far as to condemn you as a swindler. No, no, it's fine. It's rather reassuring to know you care so much about Yuki that you're watching over her. To be honest, I had my doubts that Yuki was cut out for hostess work. Dad. Timid, awkward, introverted, and shy. That's the daughter I know and love. I wasn't sure how in the world she'd survive as a hostess. But seeing her here in Osaka, First thing I noticed was how much the city has changed her. It wasn't the city. Changed how? Well, maybe it's just a father's bias talking, but I think she's more cheerful and more composed now. Radiant, even. 
I'm sure it has to do with her enjoying her work at the club you gentlemen run. But Dad... So, you're Majima-san. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Yuki goes on and on about you. Fuck! Oh, no! Oh, no! We were right all along! No! <laughs> no, we have to go back! We have to go back! Yuki goes on and on about you. I was hoping I could meet you in person to see how much of that I could actually believe. <laughs> Dad! Oops. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> he even said oops! This old man said oops! Like, he was like, oh, oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. What? All joking aside, Majima-san and Yoda-san, was it? I hope I can count on you to keep watching over my daughter. Uh. The, yeah, of course. We gotta groom Yuki-chan into the best hostess she can be. Eh. Uh, absolutely! I'll do my best to make Yuki-chan the top hostess in Sotenbori and all Japan! Hmm? Right, Majima-san? Uh, yeah. It will make it happen, Yoda-chan. Oh, very heartening. Huh? Hold your horses. I wanted to get an office job eventually. Let's do this. Yeah! And all the dads are like, yeah! <laughs> Guys! Hello? I'm still here. Come on. Alright, let's go over to Mizumura's Club Mercury and check things out. <sighs> oh, really going? Huh? Yeah, of course. You want to hang back, Yoda-chan? Yeah, I think I'll pass. Okay, you're acting kind of funny there, Yoda-chan. Almost could say you're a bit sus. What's the matter? Mm. Well, actually... Uh, Majima-san, while you're out, please go buy some vinegar. What? Uh. Huh? What vinegar? Get it, wait. Uh. No, I can't. I'm making some shirashi, and I need vinegar right now. <sighs> yeah, now that you mention it, uh, I thought I smelled some rice cooking. Please, Majima-san, I really just need some vinegar. It's a simple request. Okay, okay, vinegar, I get it. I'm on my way out. I'll buy some while I'm at it. Vinegar. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. She's pulling one for Yoda here. Yeah, yeah. What's the matter, Yoda-san? Yeah. No, it's nothing. Hmm, Yuki's on the case. Maybe he doesn't like Shiraishi. <laughs> Man, vinegar is sold out everywhere. At this rate, Yuki-chan's Shirashi is gonna get cold. Yeah. Hey, mister, you want a party? Oh my, holy bahonkas a wow. Wow! Huh? Eh? I'm busy. Maybe next time. Why don't you try someone else? Majima! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Seriously? That's too bad. Hmm? She's been wandering around here for a while now. Are you looking for something? Huh. Yeah, I need vinegar, but apparently it's on the whole town's shopping list. It's sold out everywhere. <laughs> vinegar? Oh, we have some at our club. Oh, yeah? Would you sell me some? <laughs> But come on, I'll give you that for free. All I ask is that you party with me for a bit. Please. <sighs> Yeesh, I guess I got no choice. I wonder which club this will be. Show the sign up here. Mercury! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> what a surprise! <sighs> well, that drink sure didn't do much for me. But listen, Missy, I gotta get going. <laughs> oh, seriously? We barely got started, mister. I got someone waiting for me. So, uh, I swear, I asked you for something earlier. What was it? <laughs> Come on, I have something for you first. You know what I'm talking about, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, now he notices. He's like, oh. Yes. I see. <laughs> eh? You gonna extend your services? Huh? What? No, it's the check. Sir, your total today comes to 100,000 yen. Ayate? Excuse me? 100,000? All I had was one watered-down drink. You mix up the tables or something? It's not a mistake, sir. We charge 100,000 at our establishment for that drink. Huh? Are you shitting me? That's highway robbery. I ain't giving you that kind of money. If that's your stance, sir, we'll have...
have to resort to methods that may be a bit uncomfortable. I will need to convince you to pay your bill one way or another. Oh! 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 Okay! I mean, we literally have a hundred and twelve million. Like, it's not a big deal. Gonna try rip try to rip me off. No, I wouldn't dream of it. Please forgive me. Oh, well, that was easy. For crying out loud, how did I get myself into that? I just wanted some vinegar. Oh crap, I forgot all about the vinegar. I'm really gonna catch hell from Yuki Chan now. Hmm? This place. He just now notices. Wow. Bruh. Bruh. Hello, Mercury. This is Mizumura's place from the five stars. Damn. I'm back. Majima-san, welcome back. <sighs> oh man, I sure found some trouble this time. Mm -hmm. What kind of trouble? You know, it was like, I was trying to warn you that mm. place is a scam. I see, so that's how he runs Club Mercury. Uh. Oh, did you used to run it, Yoda? Yeah, so can you clue me in, Yoda-chan? Tell me about the place. <laughs> What? I don't know anything. Mm. Don't hide it. You go all mumble mouth whenever someone mentions Club Mercury, Yoda Chan. What's the big secret? Oh, well, that's. We're trying to beat the five stars here, Yoda Chan. If you know anything, now's the time to tell me. Oh, here he comes. Yep. If you don't want to talk about it, I will. Huh? Who's that? Misamura san. Yeah, it's all pretty in here now. You like <sighs> it, huh? I didn't get a chance to take a good look last time. But it seems like you have a fine club here, Yoda. Misamura san, what happened to you? What changed? Ripping your customers off. You never would have done anything like that before. Mm. Mm. Mizumura-san, is it too late for you to turn back? You could teach me more about how to run a club, just like in the old days. People change, Yoda. I can't go back to the way things used to be. Hmm. Mizumura-san from the Five Stars. What's your business here? Doubt you're here just to swap war stories. I just stopped by to thank my customer. I'm sure he really enjoyed our drinks. Huh. Yeah, tap water always goes down smooth. Got me nice and hydrated for the exercise I got afterward, too. Little brat. Here's a word of advice I give to hot-blooded young men. Huh? Yeah? Well, what's that? The five stars are easy. <sighs> but going up against evil isn't always the good thing to do. What are you trying to say? If you want to live peacefully in the city, don't challenge the five stars. Follow my example. What example would that be? Hello? Oh, Mizumura-san. Here you are. Oh. Shibiki. It's not safe for you to be wandering, walking around here by yourself. I was worried about you, Mizumura-san. Mm. Yes, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Pardon me. I'm sorry for the interruption. Shall we head back? Mm. Yes. I hope I do not need to see you again. Mm. Mizumura-san. Well, that was a shocker. 
didn't know you and Mizumura used to work together. <laughs> well, yes. You still don't want to talk about it? When I... When I first got into this industry, Mizumura-san taught me the basics of running a club. I see. Mizumura-san was kind. He was strict at times, but he was always so full of enthusiasm. He taught me so much. There were times when he and I talked all night about our dream of building up Sotenbori's nightlife scene. <sighs> That's so. I looked up to him. He was my mentor, but now he's one of the five stars, and nothing like he used to be. <clears throat> the old Mizumura-san would never do dirty things like ripping off his own customers, but now... <sighs> the Mizumura-san that I used to work with is gone. I just couldn't accept that, you know. That's why he didn't want to talk about Club Mercury. Fine. Yes. Well, th thanks for opening up about it, Yoda-chan. Yeah. Oh, I should have told you much earlier, Majima-san. <sighs> You're damn right you shoulda. Look, we're in this for the long haul together, so we gotta be a team. If you're ever having a tough time, let's talk. Majima-san. <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu! <laughs> <laughs> um, Majima-san, and you too, Yoda-san. What are you doing just loafing around? <sighs> We were having a heart-to-heart -heart talk here, Yuki-chan. What's so important that you gotta interrupt? Vinegar is! I promise you two lovebirds can get right back to it when you give it to me. You did get some for me, right? We really need vinegar. Uh, I, uh, forgot. <laughs> what the hell? Why are they all sold out of vinegar everywhere? <sighs> Yuki-chan's gonna be pissed. Wait a damn minute. Why is the manager of the club? Gotta run around like a freaking errand boy, anyway. Mm? Oh, really? You're sold out of vinegar, too? Mm hmm? I know that voice. <sighs> what am I going to do? I wanted to make Inari, Zu Inari Zushi for Mizumura-san. Ain't that Hibiki from Club Mercury? Uh -huh. Hmm? What a coincidence that we're both looking for vinegar. Uh, for sure. So you're making Inari Zushi. Sounds tasty. Oh. Oh, mine is really delicious. It's Mizumura-san's favorite. You've really got a soft spot for the old man, huh? <laughs> Mizumura-san is so suave and cool. And he understands that I can't work too much, but he still supports me. And you can't work that much? <sighs> yeah, I have a much younger brother, and I take care of him. So, it's difficult for me to work every day. And I get tired pretty easily to begin with. Mizumura-san knew I'd have to take a lot of time off and hired me anyway. So I'm really thankful, and I feel indebted to him. Even though you work at a rip-off of a club? Aww. Man. So, man. It wasn't always like that. But after his wife passed away, Mizumura-san started gradually changing. His wife? Passed away? <sighs> yeah, about a year ago. At the same time, Mercury wasn't even a cabaret club. It was a regular cabaret, and Mizumura-san and his wife ran the business together. So when she passed, I imagined it was doubly hard on Mizumura-san. <sighs> he was determined to run the cabaret by himself somehow. But it didn't go so well. <clears throat> Running the club like that alone and at his age? Must have been really tough. <sighs> yeah. But right around that time, Club Moon Tsukiyama invited me to join the Five Stars. If you ask me, converting the cabaret to a cabaret club was something Tsukiyama-san made, made him do. Mizumura-san seemed really sad when that happened. <sighs> ever since that, ever since then though, he'll do anything. He's followed all the five stars orders without question, right down to scamming the customers. He's been through a lot. And after all that, I, I felt I had to stay by his side. I haven't been able to repay my debt to Mizumura-san. Are you sure it's okay to tell me all that? I'm Club Mercury's competition, after all. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe I was just talking to myself. <laughs> that was a hell of a soliloquy, then. Maybe you can free Mizumura-san from that Five Stars curse. Huh? Hmm. You say something? <laughs> Nothing at all. Well, thanks for sharing. Don't mention it. Literally, do not mention it. I will get fired. 
I'll see you around, Majima Kun. Ah, yeah. It's pretty late. Guess we were talking for a while there. Mizumura san, what you're doing is wrong! Huh? I can't be choosy about my methods to achieve my goals. You will understand this one day, Yoda. It's not something I ever want to understand. Mizumura-san, I will stop you no matter what. Even if it means I have to defeat you. <laughs> you sound like you grow a pair, son. Fine. Come at me with all you've got. I've sold my soul to the five stars. I poured my life into Club Mercury. See if you can take me down with your dreams and idealism. I will win! I'll beat you and show you how wrong you are! Alright, Yoda. I'm looking forward to the next time we meet. Hi. Definitely. Hey, Yoda-chan. Oh, hey, Majima-san. Oh, welcome back. You, you've been gone a while. Hmm? All right, let's get this club ready for the show. Let's hop to it. Come on now. Chop, chop. We can't keep our customers waiting, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Let's do this. Hi. For sure. Uh, oh, Majima-san. The vinegar? You got it for me this time, right? <laughs> His smile of like... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> mm. Marriage. So this time it's wife, not girlfriend, eh? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Mm. Well, a wife is forever, so... Hmm. 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 Either way, the way to a man's heart is not up here. It's somewhere down here. <laughs> it's time to go off, y'all. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Majima and Yoda. It's been a while. Hi. Mizumura-san, I'm going to stop you. Yoda, just like how I used to be. Green. And talking shit you don't understand. <sighs> I hope your youthful enthusiasm won't be your undoing. <laughs> Yoda Chan is really fired up for a change. There's no way we can lose with him flipping out like that. Yes. Well, I can't lose either. I have a promise to keep. A promise, eh? Nothing you should concern yourself with. Either way, it's the end of the road for you. <laughs> now we get to see Mizumura-san when he really means business. They used to call him the Lion of the Cabaret, you know. I'm looking forward to this. Sorry, old man, there ain't no way we're stopping here. Let's start this up. Club Sunshine's open for business. Hi. Yes! Okay. All right. Show me. It's time to... <laughs> Skill, baby. All right, Harumi, your turn. All right, Akami, you got this. Good early start there. Skill again. Wow, really strong. Oh, mega rich. Yuki, this is your time. Go, girl, go. Oh no, oh no. 
Okay, we need to switch you off now. Um, give girl a reward. Okay, cool. Ooh, got Akami over there just in the nick of time. Um, it's kind of mess, so let's go give gift. Okay, cool. So we left half. Okay, I need you to save. Save this situation down here, Kyoko. There we go. Save it. Okay. Why are all of them skill related? Oh, that saved it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Holy shit. Um, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all skill related! What the hell? I think we're gonna have to let this mega rich person just go, because there's. I don't know if there's anything I can do. Etsuko, you're gonna have to come and clutch somehow. Buy time! Buy time for Akami! Alright, you're gonna have to come in and, uh. Save Etsuko here. There we go, there we go. Ooh. I mean, we're making green like there's no tomorrow, but please, someone else. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Etsuko, go off. Oh, I don't know if we won that. It's gonna be close. No, it's not even close! It's not even it's not even close! It wasn't even a contest! We could have done so many gifts! Oh <laughs> yeah. one we did. <laughs> Yeah! We did it, Yoda-chan! Yes. I lost. You've done well, Yoda. Splendid. After all, none of my apprentices ever surpassed you. Yoda's Jedi Master? What? Mizamura-san. I'm glad it was you I lost to. Now I can shut down my club with no regrets. Or regrets. You don't have to do that, Mizamura-san. You can still start over. Mm -hmm. We can do this the right way. Together! Mm -hmm. <sighs> Yoda, that's not possible. I've gone too far down a different path. <sighs> but... After I lost my wife, I used every dirty trick in the book to protect the club. <sighs> as long as I was alive, I would keep the club going. That's the promise I made to her before she died. The promise. I've heard about your wife's passing. Make a promise like that. I had no idea you'd make. Mm. It was difficult for an old man like me to run that cabaret without any help. <sighs> what the hell is Hibiki? Like chopped liver? Doused in vinegar? Hmm? It went downhill quickly. Pretty soon I was in danger of going out of business. That's when Tsukiyama appeared on the scene. Business was good, as long as I did what that man said. <sighs> Whether it was converting the club from a cabaret to a cabaret club or ripping off customers, I did everything he told me to do. I looked past all of it, because I knew that's how the club was staying open. I basically sold my soul to the devil. This is the end of the road for Club Mercury. It's time. It's time quite a while ago, in fact. I don't know when it'll be. When I get to heaven, I'll tell my wife. I'll tell her I'm sorry. <sighs> Mr. Mura thought I had no idea. I didn't know it. I said all those things to you. 
<laughs> Yoda, don't ever lose your honesty. You really remind me of myself back in the day. With you around, I'm confident the future of Sotenbori's Entertainment District is in good hands. Misamori-san. Majima, I've seen what you're capable of doing, too. And I have a favor to ask. Huh? Yeah, what is it? After Club Mercury is gone, would you let Hibiki work at your club? Huh? I know she's a little weaker than some girls and that she can't come into work every day. Most clubs wouldn't put up with it for very long. Mm -hmm. But your club seems like the type that would actually welcome her for the talent she does have. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Any girl you trained would be a welcome addition to the team. And that's great. Thank you. Misamura-san. Hibiki, thank you for everything you've done for me. Take care of your younger brother and mother. Family is everything. Family. Ooh. Yes, thank you, Misamura-san. <laughs> well, then, it's time for this old soldier to turn in his combat boots. We may not see each other again. Mizumuru-san! <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu! Do your best, Yoda. Hi. I will. <laughs> I guess Grams is pretty cool. In fact, he was like super rad. Hey. Yes, I really looked up to him. Oh no. Majima-kun, thank you for everything. I'm looking forward to working with you. Uh, yeah, I am too. I'm counting on you, Hibiki-chan. <laughs> <laughs> you can count on me. And a platinum uh. hostess! Uh, right, y yeah, sure. Why are you oogling her? <laughs> Yuki is... <laughs> Yuki is our judgmental little sister just being like... I'm watching you. I ain't. R2? Am not? Ooh, oh, that's enough flirting, you two! <laughs> yes! <laughs> fucking... Fucking Yoda! <laughs> Yoda calling it like he sees it. What a man. Get a grip and let's get serious here. Five stars are still out there! Oh, wait, did I just get scolding from Yoda-chan? Well... That was humiliating. You watch Mizumura-san. I'll be the one to carry your legacy forward. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I wish he'd always worked this hard. Don't worry, he'll be back to his old self tomorrow. Hi! Majima-san, everyone else, let's get ready for the next shift. Let's go! <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh, so even Mizumura-san has fallen. He was an old man who was behind the times. All they did was kick out his crutches. Go to me. I assume there are already plans in place to deal with him. Of course. What kind of assistant would I be if I waited until you asked to take care of these matters? Remarkable as always. Goro Majima of Club Sunshine. I'm looking forward to seeing how you handle the challenges that await you. Blocks have been unlocked for the breaker style. A billion yen. Billion. It's time to enact the biggest brain of plans. Alright, you guys, I'm going to intentionally lose. Yep. Alright, let's see how this works. Okay, so now that we lost, we had a billion yen before. Let's see how much he'll have now. Okay, so he has a hundred million extra now. Okay. 
shit. Oh shit. Shit. Okay. Boom. Oh shit, here we go. Boom! Let's go! Give me my money back. Alright. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa! Whoa! That's... That's... That's way more than I thought I was gonna get. 1.9 billion. I win. Look, you can forget about trying to beat me, so just leave me alone from now on, deal? <laughs> this is all going wrong. Our plan isn't working. Plan? What's this plan of yours? Has it got anything to do with you coming after me for money? Shakedowns are a necessary part of the plan. I will not stop until I achieve my primary objective. You're barking up the wrong tree. You ain't getting a single yen from me. You say that now, but I'm going to keep training. Next time we meet, I'm going to clean out your wallet. I shouldn't really care, but I'm curious about this plan of his. Guess I'll ask him if he pesters me again. Sub story with Mr. Shakedown? Maybe? Here we go! Oh, what? Woohoo! Oh, what the fuck? That was so hardcore! <laughs> Let's try. Let's try these now. Okay, here we go! Let's go! Ha 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 We taunted him! Ha ha ha! Taunt him again! Hell yeah! Free heat, baby! Boom! <laughs> Yeah, and he's alive, for sure. Oh, shit! Shit! No! <laughs> hey, it's me. <clears throat> and you are? Huh? What? Me! It's me. I have no idea who me is. Who are you? Eh? Wait, you don't remember me? You don't remember this beautiful face? Uh... Seriously, who are you? Huh? So seriously, who are you? Eh? Hang on a sec. You really forgot? Uh? Eh? My name is Kanehara! Kanehara! Owner of Club Venus, one of the five stars, is that clear? Kanehara? Well, now that you mention it, you do look a little familiar. I knew who he was as soon as he walked in. But no one asked you, Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> so you really did manage to forget my face, huh? Well, yeah, that makes me sad. Your poor primitive brain. Really? Insults now? Whatever. What's your business here at Club Sunshine today? Kanehara of the five stars. Ha 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 ha! A little birdie told me you guys were going to be scoping out my club. Figured I'd be proactive and check you guys out first. 
And you like what you see? What little birdie was that? Do you want to cut to the chase or keep bullshitting me? <laughs> You're such an amateur, Majima Kun. It's the very definition of amateur hour in here. My lady, your performance is at an end. Come back home to me. Oh, the girl that uh, Yoda hired. Yes, Kanahara-san. Kanahara-sama. Uh, what? What? A job well done, my little spy. I've already reserved us a room at a nice hotel with a beautiful night view. Oh, I can't wait. Did you steal the things I asked for? Yes. Club Sunshine's customer data, details on the girls, financial data, I got it all. Oh, oh wait, wait, Chotamate Kurasai. <laughs> Yoda chat. This, this can't be. Oishi san was a spy? But I thought. Haha, mm -hmm. <laughs> he handed me all that confidential information without a second thought. It was like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> we got played like a damn shamisen. <laughs> Ha ha ha! You should have known I'd do anything to pry the upper hand from my opponent. That's the only way to keep winning this life or death game, Goro Majima. <laughs> Appreciate the lesson, Kanehara. <laughs> uh, such humility is rare in fools. You truly know your place. Oishikun, can you take care of the data analysis after you get back? I want the juicy details on every weakness. You got it. Anything else in it for me? Mm. Well, that depends on what you find in that data. But how about I make a few calls and extend that little hotel stay? It'll be just the two of us, of course. With pleasure. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I analyzed <laughs> all the girls, and apparently there are three of them with no weaknesses. <laughs> that was simple enough. Women are so amazingly foolish. <sighs> You're a special kind of scumbag, ain't you? Mm. I'll take that as a compliment. Speaking of scum, though, I must say this seedy little club is quite fitting for you. A seedy exterior, a seedy owner. Everything here is so seedy you can smell it in the air. Really, you should be honored that someone of my stature would deign to even set foot in this club. Good. Want to give it a rest with the lame insults? Yeah. I can't believe you're so rude. I don't know about Majima-san and the rest of the team, but I am not seedy. <sighs> How come you get to be the only one who ain't seedy? Because... Because... Amazing. A jewel among the refuse. <gasps> what? Mm. What a beautiful woman. Y yes, yes. You're talking about Ai-chan, right? <laughs> I know how this goes. I'm not going to fall for it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki's so used to getting dragged by the jokes that she's just like, yeah, 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 I yep. getcha. No, it's you, my dear. What is your name? <laughs> Kiminawa. But what? You really mean me? Um, my name is Yuki. Huh? Yuki, say, do you want to be my lady? <laughs> what? I can pay you three times the peanuts you're earning here and grant you the priceless pleasure of sleeping with me. What the fuck is this guy? Think about it. Instead of wasting away in a dump like this, you could be living a life of luxury at my side. <sighs> um, no way. Huh? Huh? What did you just say? <sighs> um, I said no way. You're not my type. The furthest thing from it, actually. So absolutely not. Get shot down! Absolutely not! Ha 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 ha! Haha, <laughs> what a tease! I like you! Now I really need to make you mine. Huh? You found a new girl to toy with. Ah, Chica. And only moments after you manipulated another girl into doing your dirty work for you. Oh, you mean Oishi spying for me? Well, she might not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but she was the right tool for the job this time. Who's that? That's Chica-chan. She's the number one hostess at Club Venus. Is she? She's a beauty, and no doubt she's got what it takes to earn that spot. Yeah, she has this mysterious air about her that just turns men into jelly. They say she's one of the top girls in Sotenbori. The rumors that she's going out with Kanehara-san seem to be true as well. <sighs> You're really up on the stuff like this, Ai-chan. Women are like pawns, Chika. 
What's important is to move them into the right positions to make sure they fulfill their potential. And when a girl has no more value to you, you just throw her away without a second thought. But of course, and one day I'll surpass Tsukiyama-kun with that strategy. Just you watch. I can't let something as silly as sentiment get in the way of my ambitions, now can I? I know, I just need to make sure I don't get thrown away too. Ha! <laughs> You worry about things like that, Chica. I would never throw you away. As long as you're the number one girl in my club. Mm. I see. Well, I'll have to work harder then. His previous statement right there felt like it was going to have more to it. Let's get out of here. Who are you talking to? You're alone. You will be mine, Yuki. I promise. <laughs> I always get what I want, by any means necessary. <sighs> well then, ta-ta! Ugh, I think I just threw up a little in my mouth. Yuki-chan, you were such a big hit with him! You did it! <sighs> I'm not exactly happy about being hit on by that creep. <clears throat> that guy's more twisted than a pretzel! So, Kanehara and Chika from Club Venus. Well, at least things are staying interesting. <laughs> that laugh. Heh, <laughs> it's me. Uh, Kanehara. Whoa, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You finally managed to remember my name. I'm so happy. <sighs> and what do you want? Making a stop to drop a declaration of war or some shit? Huh? Me? Against you? How quaint. Predators don't declare war on their prey, they just eat them. I simply came to see Yuki. What? M me uh, Yuki, are you ready to come be my lady? Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's never been a woman who's refused me. Come, this is the beginning of our grand adventure together. <sighs> Knock it off. <sighs> I'm never going to like you. Just leave me alone. Oh! <laughs> I see. You're cute, Yuki. I've never been denied like this in my life. So this is as amusing as it is novel. Maybe I said this already, but I don't stop until I get what I want. And if I can't have it, I'll make sure no one else can. Huh? I don't want you to be unhappy, Yuki. I want you to live in my arms. Uh, you really should stop teasing me so much, you know. I'd be very sad if you weren't here. Well, ta-ta, Club Sunshine. I look forward to your continued, albeit futile, efforts. <laughs> right? This guy's awful. Good. Hey, Yuki-chan. You okay? Hi. I'm fine. I, I won't let him intimidate me. <laughs> uh, good to hear. Besides, you'd protect me if anything happened, right? Uh, you know I got your back. Hi. Oh, me too. A and me three. I'll be your bodyguard, Yuki-chan. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Thank you, everybody. Don't be afraid, Yuki. Oh, this creeper. Yeah. Oh, Yuki-chan's voice is still trembling, but she's trying her best to be brave. Just means I gotta stop Kanehara from having his way. Excuse me. Oh, uh, wait. Ain't you Chica from Club Venus? What do you want? I have a message from Kanehara. Here. Challenge time. A challenge to a cabaret club battle, huh? We ain't gonna go easy on you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Huh? I know. Um, is Yuki-san here? Yuki-chan? Mmm, sus. Y yes? What can I do for you? Yuki-san, please don't take this personally. But if I were you, I'd get out of here as soon as you can. What, is that a threat? Mm -hmm. What? What does that mean? A man I know well has been acting a little strange lately. I don't know, I just have a really bad feeling. Mm -hmm. I think he may be plotting to kidnap you, Yuki-san. Please, you have to be careful. <laughs> uh, when you say he, you don't mean... Hey! What's the big idea trying to scare Yuki-chan? You 
trying to throw her off her game so she can get she can get a leg up in the cabaret club battle. Is that it? Majima son. Mm -hmm. No, that's not it at all. He really will do anything to get what he wants. He's a dangerous man. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see any more girls hurt by him, that's all. Any more. Any more. If Kanahara catches you, you're gonna have a bad time. So, Yuki-san, please, go somewhere safe for now. Uh, I won't be intimidated like that. Let's go, Yuki. I'm a member of Club Sunshine. I'm going to fight beside Majima-san, Yoda-san, and Ai-chan. I mean, I know I'm still an amateur, and I might not have much to contribute, but that doesn't mean I'm going to run away. Yuki-chan. Besides, everyone here has my back. I'm not afraid of Kanehara. Hell yeah. I see. I wish you'd believe me, but please be careful. Removing someone from the equation comes all too easily to him. Oh! oh. Chika-san. Chika-san. I wonder if she was really worried about me. Uh. If she actually meant it, then I was pretty rude to her. Well, who knows? Maybe Kanehara told her to say those things to scare you. Ai-chan, what is it? We'll know, so, oh, we'll know soon enough. Looks like we'll be going up against Kanehara any day now. Yes, you're right. <sighs> but she was always so calm before, and today she seemed almost desperate to warn me. What is Kanehara up to? Uh, well, there's never any harm in being more careful. You watch yourself, Yuki-chan. Hi. Okay. Oh, and Yuki-chan. You were pretty cool back there. You've come a long way. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> really? Who laughs like that? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Yuki is officially a One Piece character. Oh. Uh, hey, Yuki-chan. Quit laughing like a cartoon and come help me with this. Yeah, Can yeah. I... Oh, sure. Kanehara, what are you really up to? Okay. It's a club battle time. Let's go. Uh. No! No, are you kidding me? What are they doing? What the fuck is going on? Please tell me that Majima, Yoda-chan, and Ai-chan are like hiding in the corners behind her and it's a trap and they're like, Bleh. Can't believe Yoda-san would send me out to fetch vinegar. What a pain in the ass. Are you Yuki-san from Club Sunshine? Mm -hmm. Hmm? That asshole over there was like, oh, some creepy stuff going on? Well, I'll just dip. Oh, oh Majima-san, have you seen Yuki-chan? Mm -hmm. Yuki-chan, no. Mm -hmm. I see. That's strange. She went out for some errands, but she hasn't come back yet. What the f Fuck! Hmm. I wonder if she stopped by somewhere. Yuki-chan loves dessert, so maybe she's having a snack somewhere. Could this be Kanehara's doing? No, it can't be. Yoda-chan is a spy! Yoda-chan has been bought off by the... by the, the Club Moon people! Hmm. Yeah, let's give her a little more time. Hi. Agreed! We'll have to make do with the other staff members until she comes back. Hmm. But I'm worried, though. We'll be going up against Club Venus soon. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Yoda! You sneak! You conniving, scheming, son of a bitch! I could have spin, I'm so angry! Ugh! Main story. Deagle. Ugh. Okay. Hmm. What's the trick? Huh? Alcohol? Hmm. Alcohol? Huh? It's my place. Oh, 
ここ。お前の<笑> せやったらここじゃゆっくり話せんな。場所かよ。まことのおるとこで落ち合うで。一応誰にもつけられんように、エールと教えたる。誰にもつけられんルート。ナイス。ああ。もし尾行されたとしてもその隠し戸使えば大抵の相手はお前を見失う。なんで店に隠し戸なんて仕込んどるんや。せやから言うたやろ。誰にでも他人に縁裏があるもんや。オッケー。とにかく誠んとこ行
その封筒は知らないあなたに見てもらえってリーさんが OK Alright, fancy cutscene time. Let's go. Do you got you? Who do Nani got high to tano? Walker, you know, she's in you. Ona, she on Naga, Nam, my mock, she does her to. Do you song us on the mono? Nande. さっそく見とるなよう撮れてるやろリーなんなんやこの写真いやわつかないなあ待てや言われんでもこれからじっくり説明したるさあ飲めありがとうリーさんお前の分もあるで Lee, nothing or thought has been said about this photo. Who is this girl? 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 年頃と背格好やなまことによう似とる、oh, それがどないしたおーおーおーシェッウェイトワーディスアプニングよう聞く薬やでほんまリーお前何をこっから先はこの子に聞かせる話とちゃうんでな。ああ。少し眠らしとく。はお前も殺し屋にしちゃ鈍いな。その写真の女はな。That's just her? まことの身代わりや。Body double? What? 身代わりええか。殺しの依頼したとき、その依頼主は何が欲しい元を殺したっちゅう結果やせや結果や殺した結果っちゅうのは死体死体があれば雇い主は納得するせやからその写真の女にはまことの身代わりに死体になってもらうんやおおデーンおおおおおおおおおお死体にこの服着せてな死体見つけた札は身元確認すんのにわしんどこ来るやろそしたらわしはこう答える間違いありませんその死体はうちの従業員です言うてなイーゼーなおかそんなん札が調べたらすぐバレるやろが大丈夫や女殺した後はその顔を誰かわからんようにしてしまえばいいおまいかすりで焼いてるんやお前は何なんや一体ちょっと本当のこと言えよお前は何もんやただのハリスとちゃうやなんとか言わんかいはっわしも元はわしも元はあんたと同じ殺し屋やなんやと大陸系の組織に雇われとった最後に仕事したんは半年前や半年前確かあんたがこの子拾ったんもその頃や言うてたな、wow. いや覚えとったの、wow. <笑>せやけど考えてみ
組織に監禁されとる女がおったとしてどないしてわしがそれを拾えんねん、oh、道端にでも落ちとるか半年前わしは組織に雇われて韓国系の連中を襲撃した女のしのぎめぐってごたついとったんやそん時までにこっちも何人かやられとった倉庫におったんは2人そいつらを始末してみるとそこに半裸の女がぎょうさん監禁されとってな鍵開けた途端みんな割れ先に逃げよった、yeah. けどそん中に一人だけ身動きできん子がおったそれが、uh -huh. あ,あまことやこの子は見えんめでわしの手探してなぎゅっと握って離さんかった泣きながらありがとう繰り返してわしはそのちっさいでどうにも話すことができんかったあ,あ,あんたはそれ以来の親代わりっちゅうわけがああせやけどわしも昔はほんまの娘持つ親やった、うん、小さい時から病気がちでな薬の副作用で最後はよう目が見えんようになったその仕草があん時の誠と重なりおうてもたんやマジマわしはもう自分より先に娘行かせるわけにいかんねや、right. 娘守るためやったら、we'll、赤の他人なんぞいくらでもぶっ殺したるそれがええことやないこともわかってるせやけどもう他に手はないんやお前にも手貸してもらうでマジマお前の雇い主に誠殺した報告してもらわなあかんどうはあ極道なめすぎや、うん、そんな小細工すぐバレるせやったら他にどんな手があるっちゅうねんいや,ーいやー話はしまいや俺はお前の計画には乗らんそうやってまた逃げんのかわしにはわかるでお前が固めなくしてもたんも備えして逃げてきたからやろ。OK、that's。なんやと。なんやかや理由つけて、己の手汚さんとずっと自分を正当化してきたんとちゃうか。けど、お前も所詮元は極道やったんや。一度黒に染まったもんは、どこまで行っても黒。せやったら、腹決めて地獄をつらんがいお前が俺の何を知っとるんや、ポケ。最後にもう一遍聞いとく。わしの話に乗る気は、ほんまにないんやな。ないな。そうか。そしたら、黒に染まった門の流儀、教えたるわ。どの道わしの計画知ったからには生きてここから出すわけにはいかん。クラップ。Come on, Majima, come on! You don't need to do this! 死ねえよ、Majima! Come on! We don't need to fight here! We're too fucking strong now. That's some anime shit right there.
Oh, fuck, this guy's strong. ほんまに身代わり立てるしか手がないんや。この先誠を守りきるには誠の死体が必要や。このままやったらいつか誠のとこにお前以外の殺し屋が来る。それより前にお前も やられるで。なんでそれがわからんねや。それやったらそれで俺が向かってくるも一人の殺すぶっ殺しちゃうわ。な、なんやとこ。そんな出来るわけ。確かに一度黒に染まったもんはどこまで行ってもクロや。そっ
それでは失礼いたしますおおマジマよう来た待っとったでおちょ待て何興奮しとんねんそら興奮するに決まっとるやろなお前水草やないかあーたった一人でシェせやけどこれで一件落着やシーズデーどうやったでマジマおおシェ何の話よ何言って Someone did it for us. お前やったやろあの写真の女の今日未明、蒼天堀川で発見された若い女性の遺体は身につけていた衣類などから牧村誠さん20歳とみられます遺体は損傷が激しく大阪府警では牧村さんが何らかのトラブルに巻き込まれた殺人事件であると断定捜査本部を設置し何やこれはおいお前やったんちゃうんかあの写真の女を俺はやっとらんやるわけないやろせやけどお前死体は昨日お前が持ってた誠の服着とったで何やと朝店にデカが来てな身元確認や言うて死体の写真見せられたんや顔は潰されとったが服は間違いなくお前に渡したやつやファーク。ああ。Someone's about to make demands. Oh, shit. o g u s h k a i g a n d e s Huh? For Majima? Oh, shit. It's for you. Oh, my dear. Yeah, oh, no. Kata de Majima. わしからのプレゼント受け取ってもらえたか何の話や決まったやろな牧村誠の死体や何やとあの子はこれで死んだことになったあんたの雇い主もこれで納得やなあんたが消される心配はもうないっちゅうわけや感謝してもらうなお前何もいいや目的は何や取引したいんやいやあんたと何わけわからんこと実は今なあんたの店で飲ましてもらってんねんあらいあらいグランドにうん<笑><笑>いやもうちょっとええー、店やなマジマ君わしここ気に入ったで今から一緒に楽しもうやないかあんたも早おいでたい何がどうなっとるんやなんで知らんやつがわしの計画知っとった I have no idea. おいどういうことやマジマさっきの電話の男多分あいつは俺が捨てたもんを拾ったんや公園のゴミ箱からあ俺があんたから撮ったほぐし会館の制服身代わりにするつもりやった女の写真俺がそれ捨てたとこその男はどっからか見てたっちゅうことやそういうことかいなそれつこてまことの死体を偽装したんやなけど何もんなんや、yeah. もしかしてお前の雇い主とちゃうかちゃう俺の雇い主やったら本人が電話してくる電話の音が別口やけど俺がまことの殺し命じられとんのは承知しとる口ぶりやったいやーとなると前にここに来たヤクザどもか
まずその関係やな電話のどこは俺と取引したい言うとったやつも欲しがっとるのは牧村誠っちゅうことやどないする相手はグランドで俺を守っとるあんたはあの子についててやれやそらえけどお前一人でのこのこ出ていくんか相手はお前を待ち構えとるんやでこれ以上うろちょろされたらメザリアからな、okay. それにやつに聞けばあの子が方々から狙われとるわけもわかるはずやそろそろ蹴りつけたる Alright, let's go どうもマジマさん え、どうぞ、親父が待ってますから。Give me that sweet cutscene. Is the customer going to be king this time, Majima? ほら、ここへやら。あ、あか、わしのも触ってな。やるのはほんまに特別ですよえちょっと立ってるよ当たり前やんちょっと嫌ややめてせやったらいくら払えば揉んでくれるんうんせやなじゃあ一万で一秒ほんまかなら100万で100秒や<笑>当店はみだらな行為は禁止ですお客様支配人ほうん、あんたが真面目くんかいな固いこと言うなよバがしらけてしもたやんかですがそれが当店のルールですはいはいそりゃエロすいませんでした試合に怖いなな当たり前やおおライディングアイスペースなるような真似されて支配人として見過ごせるわけないやろああちゃうねんってそんな乱暴なことせんわこれでもちゃんと筋通してますし実はお店の人に頼んで貸し切りにしてもらったんやハハハ That is some gangster shit right there わしらの会話あんたも他のもんに聞かれたないやろと思ってな人払いしといたんやこれでも気ぃ使うてるんやでまあまあ座ったらたまには自分の店で飲むもええもんとちゃうかじゃな、基人会中、看板掲げさせてもらってる。西谷ってもんや。ほまれ西谷。基人会。こっちの欲しいもんは分かっとるやろ。真島君
牧村誠ちゃんあんたあの子どこに隠しとんのやせやけどあんたが手に負えん言うてな結局わしが出てこないあかんようになってもうたお前があのボンクラどもの頭っちゅうわけかあんた強いらしいなわしゃ強い男は大好き、oh, like、せやけど We will destroy you. I'm not sure if you're going to be a good person. I'm not sure if you're going to be a good person. I'm not sure if you're going to be a good person. I'm not sure if you're going to be a good person. I'm not sure if you're going to be a good person. I'm not sure if you're going to be a good person. I'm not sure if you're going to be a good person. わしらに渡してもらえんかな。なあ、ええやろ。あんたは雇い主に蒼天堀の死体がまことちゃんや言うたらええ。相手は佐川やろ。キャバレーグランドの裏のオーナーさんや。あのアホに死体が別人やなんてバレやせん。わしは口の固い男や。まことちゃんさえこっちの手に入れば。誰にも秘密は赤さん赤まで持ってったらお前らなんであの女狙うんやうんそりゃ言うわわしらも人に雇われて向いとるただまあ真島君もそれ知りたいやろうな何やったらわしから力ずくで聞き出してみるか頭はそのつもりできたんや。<笑> In the grand. There's nobody else here. This is such a JoJo encounter. あれなやマジマ君。どないしたい<笑>俺は店の中で客殴られへん。なあ、それ。この店の支配人としての流儀や。<笑><笑>なんやなんや。なやあんたほんまにわし好みの男やな。<笑>せやけどどないしよ。真島君の流儀も大事や。<笑>けどわしもはよあんたとやり合わなもう収まりつかんで This guy's crazy せやそしたらこないでしょちょ待ってあもしもし警察でっかわしキャバレーグランドの支配人ですわ何今頭おかしなったヤクザが店でどす抜いてますねオーシェット全然客やないです。強盗ですわ。早く助けに来てください。What? 何考えてる<笑><笑>これでわしは客やないちごちゃ。さつも認める立派な強盗。Yeah, he called the cops on himself. Yeah. <笑>試合に言うたことで、強盗まで直らんちゅう流儀はないやろ。大事な店を守るためはい、遠慮せんとかかってきてや、真島君わしゃもう仕事抜きや楽しませてもらうで Yeah, beat his ass, 真島 Let's go そこまで言うんやったら突き当たる俺も仕事抜きやほな、行くで、真島君Yes, let's go.
Oh! So fucking metal! Oh! Oh! Oh, get him! What? What? God, that combo is so stupid. そこ動くな。ない。もう時間切れかいな。そのだんだがだ。わしがこの店を押し込んだ強盗ですわ。エロ、お騒がせしましたな。はあ。はあ。何やそれ。待てやにしたに。お前らが女狙う理由はないや。
俺はなんか腑に落ちねえんだよ。お前さ。なお、わしは。なお、ミキドゥイング。なんでわざわざ死体の顔を潰したの。その癖死体には女の働き先の服着せたままだ。死体の身元隠してえのか、隠したくねえ
Hmm, it's almost as if one of the girls in your club has gone missing. You? What have you done with Yuki-chan? <laughs> oh, now, now, Majima-kun. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I told you before, didn't I? I always get what I want. Huh? You son of a... The timing is most unfortunate, isn't it? Based on our analysis, it seems that Yuki-chan is your club's main girl. With its main attraction out of the picture, what hope does Club Sunshine had of, have of winning against us? <laughs> yeah. You know, we could always postpone the battle until later. If you get down on your knees and beg for it. How about it? <clears throat> Damn it! How slimy can this pod scum get? What should we do, Majima-san? Mm -hmm. We're at a real disadvantage without Yuki-chan. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Let's do battle, Majima-san. What? Sure, it'll be tough without Yuki-chan here. <laughs> but with all of us working together, we'll be able to kick this weasel's ass. Besides, if Yuki-chan were in our shoes, I'd bet she'd want to stick around and fight. Ai-chan. No. Caving into a man like this won't do anyone any good. Majima-san, let's do this. Let's win and get Yuki-chan back. Uh. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Quite the inspirational little speech. I'm fired up. Shall we start the Cabaret Club battle then? It's showtime! Show me. Oh, showtime. Alright, let's pop off. All right, this is it. Etsuko, unleash the beast. Okay. So many ones for talking, though. Wow, they're all for talking. Mega rich. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Whew. A mega rich one asking for Hibiki. That was clutch. There you go. Etsuko's gonna carry this. Let's go, Obasan. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um who are my talkers? Oh, sh they want Hibiki. Hibiki is in the bottom middle, right? Yes. No, don't leave. Don't leave, don't leave. Okay, Hibiki, Hibiki, go 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 girl. There we go. Go go go. Damn it, I missed again. Right in the nick of time. Uh, extend session. If I get like one more purchase before it's over. Okay, this is gonna come down to it. Here we go. Oh, we got it. We got it. Woo! Very clean, very clean. How could I possibly lose to these losers? Me! <laughs> and Club Sunshine ain't even gotten warmed up yet. You had enough? <laughs> Justice always prevails. <laughs> Inconceivable! Huh? No, 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 no! <laughs> I wasn't supposed to lose, I was supposed to win! I haven't taken him down yet! <laughs> it's okay, Kanahara, let it go. I stood with you in your pursuit to surpass Tsukiyama, son. No matter how single-minded and even maniacal things got. I know you do anything to achieve that. Mm -hmm. But it's time to let it go. I don't want to see you suffer anymore. Let the weight fall off your shoulders and let's walk out of this. Are you okay with that? Chika. Nah, I'm not gonna feel anything for this uh -huh. guy. Fuck him. Yeah, yeah, fuck him. Okay, let's beat his ass. Don't you mess with me. 
Huh? Chica, kick him in the dick. Kick him in his baby dick. I see why I lost now. It was you, Chica. You were slacking and you didn't do your job. Yeah? I would never. It was you, not me. I did nothing wrong. I let you be with me because I thought you'd be useful. This is how you repay me? I don't need you anymore. Huh? Get the hell out of here. I don't ever want to see your face again. <sighs> how could you? No. This is so wrong. Chica did her best for you. Huh? Shut the hell up. You don't know shit. This can't be the end of the line for me. How could you possibly understand the pressure I'm under? Majima! I won't take this line down! Come out and fight me! <laughs> An ugly man to the bitter end. Shut the hell up. I don't care about what anyone thinks of me. Nobody's gonna stop me. Huh? You're mine, Majima! Fine. But when I win, you're gonna give Yuki back. All right. Let's beat his ass. This is gonna be so satisfying. I'll bet you he doesn't even know how to fight. Sit the fuck down, buddy. Boom! And done! Hit it up. And done. Get the fuck out of here. Woo! Little bitch boy. Oh! What a finish! <laughs> we made him look so stupid! How? Could I go down to a bunch of losers like you? This can't be happening. You're the one treating everyone like your personal pawns. And you call us the losers. Huh? I won't accept it. I demand we do it over. I'll do it again, bro. I, I, don't, I don't care. I, I will beat you again. How pathetic, Kanehara. Oh, here they come. Eh? Sukiyama, son. <sighs> to think that a pitiful wretch like you was once considered number two among the five stars. I suggest you remove yourself before you cause me any further embarrassment. <sighs> Sukiyama-san, I, I only wanted to surpass you. <sighs> Never in a million years. Now, on another word, you are useless, and I want you out of my sight. If you don't, I can make some arrangements. Shit! Shit! Sukiyama. <laughs> it's been a while, Majima-san. My humble apologies if my inept minion actually managed to cause you trouble. <sighs> he was your crew, wasn't he? You want to call yourself the boss, then you failed just as hard. <laughs> what can I say? I'm embarrassed. <sighs> In any event, defeating Club Venus, that's quite a feat, Majima-san. Though I expected nothing less from the manager of the Cabaret Grand. Heh, <laughs> I'm real honored. First it was Hino and now Kanehara. I'd say the five stars aren't twinkling so bright anymore. <laughs> to be frank, I hardly care about the five stars. If it goes bust, it's truly a non-issue. Kanehara in particular became quite conceited after he got a little power and money. I knew I would have to get rid of him at some point. <laughs> and you did that, and you did just that for me, Majima-san. I can't thank you enough. But sooner or later, I may have to step in and fight you myself. Call it a gut feeling. It's mutual. <laughs> I look forward to the day then. But I can personally put an end to you along with Club Sunshine and Cabaret Grand. Farewell. Looks like we'll be up against Tsukiyama soon. Majima-san? Ah, hey yo, Chika-chan. Um, I'm really sorry about Kanehara. Chika-chan. 
Huh. Hey, never mind, Matt. Ain't no need for you to apologize. But you okay, Chika-chan? <sighs> not really. I, I guess... I didn't think he'd say something like that to me, but... The club's probably going to be shut down, too. What am I going to do? If you want, why don't you come and work for us? Eh? What? Hey, we don't got Kanehara, so you wouldn't be working with your boyfriend anymore. And like Kanehara said, compared to Venus, Club Sunshine looks a little seedy. The girls and the owner are a pretty weird bunch, too. Coming from me, well, that's saying something. But you know, I like sunshine just the way it is. Working here puts a smile on my face. And green in my pocket! Holy shit! Maybe if you come aboard, you'd find yourself smiling more than you did at the old club, too. I could work with a smile. Huh. Yeah, maybe tears are a woman's weapon sometimes, but I say a smile packs a lot more heat. Come to think of it, I don't think I've smiled in a while. Work, love, both of those should have been a lot more fun. Somewhere along the line, I, I lost all that. Jika-chan. Your club sunshine's Goro Majima, right? I look forward to working with you. Yeah, yeah for sure. Hi. Thank you. All right. Platinum good? hostess number four. And would you look at that? You smile. And it's like the sun just busted through the clouds. <laughs> yeah, you really think so? Oh, that makes me so happy. Uh, uh right. I lay the charm on the customers just like that. I guess all's well that ends well. Mm -hmm. Time to celebrate our victory. We're missing someone, y'all. Good call. You guys all did a great job today. Let's pop some corks. Is this part of the joke? They're just like, who's Yuki? Yeah. <laughs> I chance like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Forgetting something? Eh, it couldn't have been important. Ah! <laughs> Wait! What? She's just up there? The help! Yuki has returned safely. I. Another billion yen, okay. <laughs> and we are still missing vinegar.